Hey now, mess heads. Mez heads! I know y'all missed me. But for your viewing pleasure, the Mez is back. Defeat the Emperor Garuda. Ninja. That's some nice artwork there. Huh? Yeah, so uh, every now and then... Man, why do I love the internet? What is great about the internet? Every now and then I'll be listening to a podcast... Or I will be... Uh, watching a YouTube video... And like someone will say, hey! There's this great Nintendo game for the for the NES that's real great. And I'm like... And he says, like, Shadow of the Ninja. By the way, uh... It was, uh... I don't know, it was either Mamecade or... From YouTube. Or it was Vintage Video Game Geek. That mentioned this. Uh, in their podcast. Uh, links below if you want to check out their channels. They're pretty good channels. They're fun to watch. Anywho, or like, homie's like, Shadow of the Ninja is good. And, I, and I'd be all, Shadow of the Ninja? I haven't heard of that. And he says, yeah, it's kind of like Ninja Gaiden a little bit. Definitely takes inspirations. It's by Natsume. They're the, they're the folks who brought you, uh, what's that one, uh, you farm? Fucking, I don't like it, but people do. Uh... What's that fucking game where you farm beets and you raise chickens? On Super Nintendo. Oh, anyway, you know the one. So I'm like, uh, well, fucking Ninja Gaiden. I could do for a Ninja Gaiden wannabe game. I beat Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, and 3 on the Nintendo. So I'll check this shit out. Why don't y'all check it out with me? See how I have 15 shurikens? Homie did say that you can't choose your weapon, uh, you pick it up and then you have to use it until it's gone. Unfortunately, you can't save your weapons for later. Not like uh, in Castle... Or as Vintage Video Game Geek would say, not like in Castlevania. <laughs> yeah, so let's, uh... Well, we already are checking it out. I played it just for a couple of minutes first so I could sort of see how it controls. So I wouldn't suck as bad. So now I got one of these things, like in, uh... What's that arcade game? With the dragons. Black Tiger. Reminds me of Black Tiger. This guy will make him jump off the edge. Come get me! Damn it! Trying to be a pro over here. Easy first boss. They don't make it hard. So far, controls real good. I like it. Never heard of this shit. Wait, I mean, where does this stuff come from? Makes me wonder. Oh, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. These guys are weird. They don't hurt you. Watch. They just push you around. I even tried to. Hit him, and I don't know. There's something I'm missing, but I couldn't find a way to hit, hurt him, or I, actually, I guess I could. He doesn't hurt me though, so like, what's the point? This music, music, all right. I'm rocking out a little bit. Hey, check it out, homies. You're not gonna believe what I'm playing the game with today. I'm playing the game with an Xbox One controller. That's right, Xbox One controllers now work in Windows. 
You go to Major Nelson's website to download the driver. It works in any game. Basically, Windows thinks it's a 360 controller, so it works in Steam games and everything. That guy's a jack off. I'm now obviously, well not obvious, I'm now farther than I've ever been. So it's all new to me now. This level looks like a little bit like the clock level in Castlevania. Pretty sure it was Mamecade who mentioned this game, so I'm gonna say thanks Mamecade. If you see this. I know you're a subscriber, so maybe you will. Mamecade recognizes a good YouTube channel when he sees it, so he subscribed to me right away. Obviously. Fuck, instead of trying to kill that guy, I just jump over him. Jeez. Okay, I gotta figure out the timing on that one. Because he's indestructible sometimes. <clears throat> Homie did say you got five five lives. The count continues, but you only get one life per continue, so that makes sense. I don't mind that guy. He doesn't hurt you. He just pushes you around. Fuck, I thought it was... Ah, oh, what a dumb way to die. Did I die? No, it didn't kill me. It only, it only hurt me. Sweet. I don't know how to hurt that how to kill that guy without getting hurt. That part felt a little bit like Strider. Yeah, I have to learn more uh, of how to do that part without getting hurt. My strategy wasn't that good. That's all right. First time really playing through the game. Right, that was a good hit once. That's the easiest way I could think of. So yeah, like Strider mixes Ninja Guide in a little bit. Cool. I'm Skr. Yeah, so Xbox One controller on Windows. Very exciting. I call it a stand and smash. Not too bad. Full life, cool. So I didn't really lose anything by standing there. So there's three parts to that stage, okay? That weapon's pretty cool, I like that. A little bit more range. That part felt a little bit like Shinobi, because I had shurikens, but they didn't last. Now we got some Castlevania. Castlevania fucking wall snake. No, I wanted to get past this. We'll go until I die. And then, uh, 
we'll call it quits. And if you want to check out the rest of the game, you can play it your damn self. I'm using the uh, Nestopia emulator. N-E-S-topia. Pretty good. Works with fraps. I remember I was playing on one before. It didn't work with fraps. And Mezhead's got to have footage, so... You know, that's like, you gotta have fraps. That music sounded a little bit like Flash Gordon. Flash! Ah! Uh... In some NES games, you get damaged less just by running fast. Fuck! Wonder how to do it without getting hit. Wait till he shoots, jump, dodge it, then attack. Aha! See, there is a strategy. It's not just strategy, strategy. One, two. The ninja. The way of the ninja. Oh cool, it goes at an angle. And it seems to be infinite weapons, so I like it. Ah, I got a duck for that. I don't want shurikens because they're limited. That is a flaw in this game. I'll lose my good range weapon for 20 shurikens. No thanks. Yeah. So there's Mark, or, or Shadow of the Ninja. Yeah, that was cool. I like that. Later, motherfuckers!